your rich uncle's wife, your rich uncle's wife. High fashion, but bad bitch. <laughs> guys so this is um just a weekly vlog now i don't know if i'm going to be doing this every week and you know i'm trying to be transparent and consistent with you guys so don't hold me to putting out a vlog every week but if i if there is a week that i have things to vlog and show you i will do it um because i just realized that i haven't had a vlog out since like my first vlog when i first started um a few months ago so um this weekend i've got a lot of things coming up what have I got this weekend? Not even this weekend, rolling into next week. So um, I'm going away, so I need to finish my handover at work. Um, I've got to do my hair. I've got to get two wigs, frontal wigs made. I need to get my nails done. Here's the ghetto up in here. And if you see this black nail, yeah, it's because I was dyeing my hair, getting this hair like ready to like sort out and stuff. And literally, you know those stupid gloves they give you? And I should know better. I should know better. Since uni, I should know better. Did, did it not still leak through onto my finger? This is even good now. This maybe even looks like henna, but it's just disgusting to me because it looks like my finger's rotting away and I'm gonna put a plaster in it. But because I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, I'm like, thank you, Jesus. So, you know, tomorrow I won't be a crusty. Shh. <laughs> Try not to swear as well. I won't be crusty tomorrow. So nails need to be done. Hair needs to be done. Um, thank God I got a pedi before lockdown. I did my laser before lockdown. So that's all sorted. My brows. Oh my God. Oh my god, my brows are just. <laughs> you know when you stare at yourself, you look at yourself like, is this what your life has become? Is this who you are? Is this generally who you are? If it is who you are, then own it. But this is not who I am. Have I even told you guys what to do? Well, my name is Stephanie. If you have not been here before, I video everything to do with fashion, travel, lifestyle, and I'm trying to get in with the vlog. So. Pardon me <laughs> if my vlogs don't look like your favorite YouTuber's vlog. I'm trying, okay? So if you're new here, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you go and tell a friend to come here and subscribe too. Because that's what we do. You go refer a friend to come over here. <laughs> Are you part of family? You gang, gang way. <laughs> Evidently, I've got too much energy for somebody who has just woken up. Guys, I'm such a bad plant mum. So I've sacrificed my aloe vera plant because... <laughs> I just can't look after it anymore and not I can't I, I suppose I can but I don't want to so I'm just gonna use it and make aloe vera oil for my hair and aloe vera conditioning so I've just cut it all off and I'm going to literally wash it now and put it in the <laughs> about me i don't learn lyrics so you are gonna hear me singing with confidence like i know what the hell i'm singing i even wrote the damn song and i don't know the words i would just be inserting any <laughs> anything in place of lyrics so we we just going to have to don't pull me up on that don't tell me nothing client i'm gonna hear it i can't lie to you to make aloe vera oil my friend told me that i needed extra I took an eye out. Extra virgin oil. She also told me I needed a coconut oil, which obviously I didn't buy. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know, I'm gonna get something together. I'm gonna do something. Um, and then she told me obviously I needed to wash the plant thoroughly, which I have done. And I've got all of that here, ready to go and yeah she just said to chop it up um put some but she didn't give me measurements you know i'm not really a measurements type of cook but 
I never made aloe vera oil before, so I am really too sure <laughs> before I go and, you know, make it over concentrated. But I'm so excited because it's wash day. Wash day is tomorrow, so I'm so excited to have this made, but I'm going to be back. <laughs> Let's go on wig off because I don't know what I was doing earlier. I think yeah, I was trying stuff on, so um obviously the wig makes the outfit. You know when you're trying on the outfit, am I the only one that um so when I'm trying an outfit, when I'm planning an outfit is different from trying on an outfit. <laughs> so when I'm planning an outfit, I don't need my wig on, I just need to see what it looks like on my body, if the colours go together, if it works, you know, if it's gonna, you know, it's gonna look good. But when I'm trying on an outfit, I need my wig on, I need to wear some jewellery, I need a twerk test, you know, just in case I'm feeling a bit, a bit fruity. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's you too. Um, this thing is still cooking, this um, aloe vera oil, let me show you guys. It's still, it's, oh, I was scared it was going to just poke me there. But yeah, it's still cooking and they said, well to be fair, my friend did say this was the longer way to do it. But um she did say to leave it until it's like brown and pink. Where it has darkened, I can see it's darker, but it don't look ready yet. So I'm gonna leave it alone for a while and I'm gonna get me some well technically it's dinner time, but I haven't had breakfast, so I'm gonna get breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna get some breakfast. I said a VV, now she gonna get cheesy. I got all this water on me like Fiji. Bitch, I'm posted up with hats and the sleazies. Smoking the Zaza, they go straight to the mind that. Then I'm up in the chopper. Bitch, I'm outside the movie. Hey, blue cheese. I swear I'm like this to the blue cheese. I got this bitch to the paper like Lucy. Okay, so I'm looking a mess. Obviously, someone looks cute. Oh, but you. it's alright. <laughs> um, so we're on our way to get this our nails done. Look flawless. Where? Where? Uh, where? <laughs> where? <laughs> when I get my hair done, it's something about a front all that it, it's like it pushes your head back. Yeah, it does. Oh, you know it does. It even gives you eye. I need that. I need that. Because right now I look dusty. Does the cat eye look like? Yeah, I need the the cat and then the behind the behind the ear. Yeah, the one hair mm -hmm. like hair mm, coming down. Mm, just there, guys. Just there. Sometimes. <laughs> just Sometimes this front um this closure vibe just be making my head look a bit a bit funny. Yeah. But I appreciate a good closure. Um, 
Yeah, so we're on our way to North London now. So I forgot to update you guys about the aloe vera last night. Basically made it. I'm gonna use it later on um, and show you guys what it looks like. I just transferred it to like a spray bottle for me and my friend to use at home. Um, so we're in North London right now. I don't know if I call this the ghetto, but it's looking, Ooh, yeah. a, it's looking a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> a bit different from what we used to. There's some nice houses here though. A lot of like Victorian. Is that what they call that? The Victorian yeah. house? Edwardian <laughs> noise of Victorian. So we're going on to get our nails done. I will link her down below. Her name is Seven Beauty. Um, she looks so talented on Insta. So obviously, and she's been so kind, so nice. Um, um, so yeah, I can't wait to get my nails done because you already know the ghetto. <laughs> we are going to be released from the bondage of the ghetto. The Thank only Jesus. <laughs> the only good thing I'll say about lockdown though is like I never used to be able to grow my nails out without them breaking straight away. And forget the dye hand. Look how good my nails have like managed to grow. Managed to grow. Um, with just staying off acrylics. I've had acrylics in like. In like seven eight months so yeah <laughs> i want some long obnoxious you know f off kind of yeah flute out city girl Hi, city yeah. girl <laughs> city girl <laughs> kind of nails i want to be talking and it's doing clack 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 period period pool i need all of that so um i pray because honestly i've had it twice where i've hit my hands where my nails have been too long and it's pulled up my entire nail so I think I learned my lesson after that, but now I'm... Did you? Did you? <laughs> you need to know! I'm a lot calmer now, so I feel like I'm not going to smash it on anything or grab it. It's just my suitcase I'm worried about, like, lifting up my suitcase. Yeah. If that's going to... I'm just going to be so careful. Even when I'm drunk, I'm just going to be really, really careful. Um, but I need that. I feel like it's not my birthday without nails, you know. Yeah, it completes you know, the whole look, you know. the whole package. And my theme for this year, last year, my theme for last year was, you know, glitz and glamour, classy babe. My theme for this year is 20 sexy. It's Ooh. a bad bitch in print. Ooh. It's a bad bitch in print. So when you see all of my outfits, when you see all the looks, when you see the vlog, you're going to see a lot of print. You're going to see a lot of bad B, a lot of like sexy pieces. Like I'll still try and keep it like in tune with myself. So a bit classy still, but it's going to be a little, you know, it's going to have a lot of blah, blah, blah. A lot of shishum. So I hope you guys do like it. Um, this area is looking mad different. Look. I never seen nothing like this before, child. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It? It's like different kind of people like live the here. Suburb, but like not. It's like the ghetto in the suburb. Yeah. Like this looks like all, all camera. We feel like we live in the suburbs, but I don't live in the suburbs. Okay, well, I live in the you, suburbs. You, yeah. 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 She's looking down at us, little Sidity. Nice, nice. <laughs> the drone nice. from Girlfriend. Oh, yeah, Tony. Tony? Yeah. I can't stand Tony. Now I'm old, I can't stand Tony. No, I don't like her now, but yeah. she's like. The yeah, Tony's Tony is quite bougie. Her I fake, like her fake bougie ass. I, I like, like Maya. Maya. I like yeah, Maya. Everyone loves Maya. Yeah, but her cheating stuff kind of pissed me off. But I feel like he cheated first. You know how they just kind of skated yeah. over. Um, you know that episode where um Joan saw um Tony and um no Maya's oh I'm not, I haven't got that part yet. I don't this is still it. season one. It's early season one. Oh, when she thinks, oh, at the airport. At the airport. Colleen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Maya was like, she doesn't buy it. Oh, yeah, her leg, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like he cheated first. And, and even though she shouldn't have done what she did with Stan, he started said, it. Yeah, yeah. He started it. So, yeah. But I like Maya. I like Maya. She's like Maya. real. And she's just true to herself. Get her fabulous. So, I will pick you guys up when we get to the nail girl. Hopefully, she'll let us vlog when we get there. And I'll try to you getting my nails done. And hopefully, some promo for her as well. If she needs it or wants it or whatever.
you can see nails have been done these were done by seven beauty i hope this lighting is good enough i'm so sorry it's the evening i have a couple of hours to pack before i go i'm so tired i got back not too long ago from my hair appointment that's i'm feeling like bougie right actually bougie no is it bougetto it's called bougetto right this is how i talk now like what what period who 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 gone mm, come on go on right eh so i've got a lot of things to show you um stuff i'm taking on a trip part of my birthday presents so excited um i'm only going to show you one because i want to do another video on um what i got for my birthday haul and stuff so i don't want to show you too much because i'm going to come and show you a whole video but i'll show you one um which i'm going to um kind of unravel now so let's start with the little things so this is from ebay got a few sarongs oh this is the one i was waiting for i've got this chocolate all chocolate all mocha look in my head so this was just yeah baby yeah baby I've got chocolate bikini from blt i've got some chocolate shades and then obviously this and i'm just like oh and then it's kind of the same thing i just got a black a version and then i got this gradient blue oh actually you know i like it i was thinking did i make a mistake by not getting a lighter one because that blue um swimsuit i have is actually kind of like a royal blue it's a cobalt cobalt blue i don't know if i'm saying that correctly i am fresh so it is what it is um i will link where i got them from so the next packages are actually some pr packages from physique swimwear i'm gonna say i love this packaging i wish more brands sent us swimwear in this packaging because not only is it easy for me just to chuck this in my suitcase or whatever i'm doing but if this is wet, if I wash it, if I'm unable to wash it, if I just come out of the pool and I'm feeling lazy, I'm never going to be there lazy. Um, and I just chuck it back in this bag, zip it up, back in your suitcase and it's fine. So I got this from Physique So Wimwet. And this one, oh child, this one's a bit racy now. Now, I'm really conscious about my body sometimes just because I know when things can be much. Like, I, I like... I kind of anticipate the kind of attention I'm going to get from something. So I tend, um, not in a bad way, but I just know I'm just not in the mood for that. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for someone talking to me anyhow or doing, yo, yo, I did it, did it. <laughs> this is not my vibe. So when I was picking this out, I was thinking, oh, okay. And then it came, I was like, oh, this one, this one might be a little Valentine's Day tip for, you know, little mr mr little something something so yeah this is a lot and like you can see this is the booby section and then this is the midriff and then this is the back i like that it's not a thong because i think that would just have been overkill with the sexiness but i do like the little cleavage section i like the strings it just it is very sexy um so i'm just packing it with me just because i need to take some pictures in it um and i would love to do some promo for them because i love when i get swimwear and it's just good quality and this one's my favorite one. Oh, when i tried this on when i first got it i was like who who gonna chat to me who gonna chat who who this is when i need these nails i'm a bad b period okay period when i wore this oh oh, oh. i was like everybody everybody needs to hold on to their man because it's a problem it's a this is just giving me high fashion but bad bitch <laughs> they just really thought it out well and i love the tag look how cute the tag is it says physique swimwear i just love things that a lot of thought have gone into it like even says physique swimwear on the label like this isn't a uh, ebay aliexpress brand this is somebody this is somebody's business like they've put in work for this and i love stuff like that so next thing i got with these like sunglasses from ebay which oh oh which i am feeling i promise this my move forever and ever yeah i'm feeling these um yeah i'm feeling these i got the pink ones i got these clear ones and then my friend got the brown ones but i'm probably gonna steal hers because i need them for my brown ensemble but i wanted the clear ones and the pink one more than 
I wanted to get two brown. I never buy anything that she has like with me unless I know I really, really want to wear it this. So I like, ooh. I love that. Love that for us. Love that for a fiver. Love that for us. Love it's even less than a fiver because five times two and one three. So ten divided by three. That's three pounds something. I love that for us. Imagine my face beat snatched in the sun, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not swearing. I'm not swearing. I'll take that back. Take it back. Take it back. I was really in the mood for some um knocker earrings, and the ones that I wanted were sold out, which was really annoying. They had another diamante one, but I was just like, I'm kind of over the fake diamante look just because it is what it is. Fake diamante. I want real diamonds. Wink, wink. I can't even wink properly. Wink. <laughs> Look how my forehead is reflecting this light. Wink, wink. Um, but yeah, I love these. Yes. Yes. They are giving me rich auntie. Rich auntie. Your rich uncle's wife. That's what they're giving me. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see that? Your rich uncle's wife your rich uncle's wife i promise you that love it love it your rich uncle's wife your rich uncle's wife okay, so i picked up little bits and bobs um for the trip so like travel essentials so i got a new wax stick it's called the bedhead wax stick this was on amazon for like six pounds so i ain't mad at that boots were having a sale um they were doing 20 percent off huda beauty Obviously, you know, I had to top up, so I got some banana bread. I currently use Laura Mercier's translucent powder with a hint of Huda Beauty Blondie, but I was finding Blondie wasn't giving me the pop I was after. Um, so I was like, cool, let me try banana bread um, and see how that goes. So I picked that up for 20% off, so that came down to like £23, so I wasn't mad at that. Um, and then I got this Smashbox um, Blurring Concealer Brush. Just because I've been more and more, yeah, I've been moving away from doing my makeup with um, a beauty blender. So I've just been using brushes for my concealer, brushes for my whole face, and I've really been enjoying it. The brush I use for my concealer at the moment is actually meant to be a foundation brush. It's quite dense. Um, but I was liking how it was looking, but I was like, yeah, you need to get a brush that's actually for your concealer. I got this with a discount from Feel Unique. So it's the Smashbox. I'm so sorry if the lighting isn't good. So the rest of my Feel Unique order just consisted of hyaluronic acid from the Inky list. I've been using the peptide moisturizer and so I just got a top up on this. And the next thing I got from Feel Unique was this Bondi Sands um, SPF 50 plus. Um, I just heard a lot of people going on about it that it was so black girl friendly and it didn't leave any white cast and it was just so good and it blended and it wasn't greasy so a lot of good reviews and it was water resistant and I needed new um I needed new SPF for my face because I finished my last one and with my full unique order I got they got sent me a little curl defining cream which I think is very cute and they sent me these kill this kills eye treatment mask little mini sample so i was like mm, i ain't mad at that i'll try it so i'll keep it and try it. one more thing i had to show you which was a game changer oh no i got the box it's the revlon um perfectionist two-in-one hair brush dryer and this thing changed the game like i've been if if you follow me you know i've been considering that dyson for such a long time and i was like but how can i spend 300 pounds on a hair dryer oh god how can i spend 300 pounds on a hair dryer and then i saw this little baby and i wanted it for a long time and my friend so shout out to her she got this as part of my birthday presents with the louis vuitton she sent me which is very cute um so yeah this this is amazing and i searched the reviews just to make sure that it was legit because i saw it um i saw a few 4c people 4c mums using this on youtube and when i say this changed my the game like i literally washed my hair yesterday um had it in a treatment or whatnot and then came out detangled it with a tangle teaser first and just just running this through it even on the cold air it was okay on the cold hair and my hair is really forcey so if you're out for something um that makes your life a bit easier if you've got natural hair or any other type of hair and you don't want to fork out 300 and dyson 
100% 10 10 would recommend there's a lot of boxes in here i should have just done a weekly unboxing and just unboxed everything for you on a separate video i didn't think about that but um yeah i got this for myself for my birthday as well so let me i can show you this um i got this from shade station because i really like the look of them and i just thought it's something different from what i normally have these are the chloe kayla glasses in brown and white and when i say a girl a girl is ready to be in the sun <laughs> who 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 me <laughs> bring me the champagne bring me the patron bring me the 1942 two two this is just giving me uh <laughs> <an age. laughs> But yeah, so these are the Chloe Kalers. Love them. And they were sourced by, of course, the one and only SC Luxury on um, Instagram. So these are usually retail at T55. And she got me them for like 170 So I was like, babe, that's my babes. Um, so yeah, 1010 would recommend. Love these. And then we have LV. So this one was also from SC Luxury and she got this at a discount for me. This is you can see box receipt tags. I'm so annoyed. Tags and I've already opened this guy, so I don't know why I'm, I'm front in. Tissue paper. So this is the world traveler. Um lv bandeau so i just got this just to you know you know when you're at the at the pool especially now i got the whole frontal thing going on maybe sometimes i'm just going to want to try and keep my frontal intact for the night time so the sun doesn't ruin it so obviously i could just easily put this around around my hair i'm not gonna tie it properly now and you know have my glasses on have everything on and you know be looking cute or whatever so i really love this i love that this side is really it's more understated like obviously if you know the lv motifs um you might know what this is so you could go really casual incognito on this side or you could turn it over and obviously see the lv part bang in the middle of your head even if you fold it in half you would literally still see the LV on that side and then have it around. Giving me boho chic, baby. Next thing we have now is this box. Ooh. Ooh, you know what it is? You know what it is? This is some Don Julio 1942 tequila. And this is going to be the vibe for the trip. This is going to be the vibe for the trip. Love that for us. Um, yeah i'm with it something i can't wait to unbox it says it's here ready are you ready what is going on right now why tell me to tear it if i will not open okay i have to open it like a thief <laughs> oh it's the iphone 12 pro max 256 gigabytes because you already know we don't do no memory below that because i just feel like there's no point anymore ever since i had this um i have the xs max um the 10s max i feel like having 256 gig just gives you so such a range of options i'm just like i'm never going back to 64 gig or 120 whatever they're offering is 256 or nothing i was looking at the 512 but i was like babe respect yourself yeah respect yourself so this is literally it is that all i get in the box uh, so this is from Vodafone. I got mine from Vodafone. I got a sick deal for Vodafone. Like before I do anything or upgrade or whatever, I make sure that I calculate the cost of the phone and make sure that I'm not paying well and beyond the cost of the phone. So the cost of this phone for this memory is 1200 and um, And then I just think of like my monthly line rental. So this in all with the cost so how much i would pay for this contract now is including the cost of the phone and my monthly line rental would be like eight pound fifty a month which is what a normal sim only is but range between eight pounds and twenty pounds so i feel like i've got a really good deal for this so love it for us 
so it's such a flat sleep box love that and i got the graphite i should have probably gotten a case and everything oh it's quite big oh i love the camera the way the camera is put this is such a sleek phone this is giving me vibes i absolutely love. look how the camera is poking out i thought the 11 was like vibey but this is just so like can you see how the camera is like proper poking out i can't wait to record on this maybe i'll do a proper unboxing and stuff later but i'm scared of the back i'm scared i'm gonna scratch it because i know myself so she's got this stuff on it um oh the f oh it looks so sleek i'm not even ready i'm not even ready but yeah so this is the iphone 12 pro max um and with iphones like i can admit that i'm in bondage to apple god forbid but i can admit i'm not probably i'm not going to go to any other iphone or any other um samsung or whatever huawei whatever it is so when it comes to upgrading i make sure like the jump is substantial for me to spend the money so um before i had the 10s max which i use now to record i had the um 7 plus and that made sense for me and i feel like i wasn't paying an extortionate price and then from the 7 plus obviously i came to the 10s max and then i didn't upgrade so i didn't get any of the 11s phones and then obviously now the 12 pro max is out and i feel like it makes sense so spend money with sense when you're doing these things you know it's not everyday lifestyle some days this thing but this right here the content about to be lit like look how lit this is yeah love it um i'm not really a tech nerd or anything like i probably just go and disturb my friends to tell me <laughs> i read the articles or i ask my friend is this worth getting is this whatever so i'm not really um going to sit and be like oh yeah the camera's like 500 and something mega something like, no, no, no. yeah that's not me so just know that i have the phone and i'm happy about it that's that's it <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching let me know if you enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more weekly vlogs hopefully i can keep up with the content because i just work a normal job um i'm just at home working from home doing work creating content and whatnot my life isn't all that busy i'm not running around doing everything every single day um but let me know if you'd like to see some weekly vlogs or maybe just when i get into something i'll just do a whole mash together for you guys um but yeah i do hope you enjoy the video if you're subscribed you already know the vibes gang wait all day every day and if you're new here make sure you subscribe too and go and do what go and tell a friend to come and subscribe as well that's what we do over here referrals okay but um yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye guys